Hello guys, this is Ansab and you are watching Nerdy Ansab YouTube channel. So this is our first video on XAMPP web server on Windows. So in this video we will see how to install and configure XAMPP web server on your Windows OS. So let's see how to do this. So first in your web browser, open Google and type xamp and from this official website apachefriends.org you can download xamp so this course is for windows so select your windows version so i am selecting the latest version available 7.2.5 and php version 7.2.5 so download And after clicking on download uh, in this step it is giving me this file to save or run so just save this file it is of 124 megabytes so I have already downloaded it so I am not downloading it again after when your download is completed so just go to your downloaded location most probably it will be in your downloaded folder if you haven't changed your location so here it is our XAMPP Windows setup so now we need to install this just double click on this file and it will give you a pop-up for administrator con control just select yes so you can see important because active user account control on your system some functions of them are possibly restricted with USC please avoid install them to see program files into h6 missing write permission or deactivate USC with misconfiguration after this setup so basically here it is saying that don't don't install them in this folder so what we are going to do is we are installing XAMPP in another folder so we will install XAMPP directly on our C drive C and XAMPP so just don't do anything here or you can customize it its location so just click on next uncheck this and next setup is now ready okay next so it will install XAMPP on your windows so just wait for a few minutes it will take some time so during installation it is asking me some permission so basically firewall has blocked this apache server so you need to allow ss this okay so yes do you want to start the control panel now so just untick for this for now you can untick this and just finish so now just uh, go to your XAMPP installation folder so my folder is C and XAMPP here is our control panel so I'm making an desktop shortcut okay so now just open them from here Let double click, right click on it and select run as administrator okay yes and then <coughs> we need these two apache and mysql just click on it okay, install its service okay now install mysql service yes and then start it okay and start this also now go to admin page of Apache so you can see our local host is up and running so the second way to open this is to just type localhost here localhost or just type your localhost IP 
so local host IP is 127.0.0.1 and hit enter okay so you can see this XAMPP page home page so now our web server is up and running and now we need to make it secure so for this open php my admin and now you can see we have open our php my admin admin page and it didn't ask us for any authentication like password so for make it more secure just go to your user account and this root host name localhost and edit it and just go to change password and make a new password so one two three four five will be our password and go and just go to home and you can see it is not connecting because we have changed our password so now stop this service and go to your installation directly in your directory so and from here go to php my admin and open this file config.inc open so you can open with any text editor I am using this here and you can see here user root and password is blank here so you need to add password 2345 ok and instead of config just write cookie oh, oh, okay, I and then save this file control s save ok so start apache service again ok and open this and just reload this page and you can see it is asking for user element password so here write root and your password one two three four five and just go never so you can see our admin page so now we need to make secure other accounts also so just change password of every account okay change password of this account also hit enter ok and this is last account so change this password So now we have changed password of our user accounts. So go to home. And now it is giving some errors. So just open that file. And here for this account PMA, write your password here 12345. And go to here. You can, if you can find it here. So you can just open this and you can set this text copy control F fine X and here so this is our secret text so here just you um, change it and just put any random code here and make it long enough ok 
okay now it should work control s okay stop this service <coughs> and start okay now reload this page just login enter so one two three four five okay so now you can see there are no errors so we have secured our user accounts so other thing we can do is uh, protect our uh, php my admin from dd os attacks so what you can do is you need to change this url so we can protect um, this by changing this default url so go to this location okay open them go to apache config folder and extra httpd sam dot config okay open with word pad so here go to your ls instead of php my admin you can write something else just write secure U R L and just save it. Okay, and now stop the services and now start these again. And open your browser and try to reload. So object not found. So just open your localhost. And when you go to PHP my admin you can see object not found. So here you can write write your secure URL URL. So here you can write your secure URL. Press enter and you it will take you to PHP my admin login page. So this was our first video on XAMP web server on Windows. So if you like this video you can share it with your friends subscribe to my channel and also don't forget to press the bell icon so bye see you in next video